What's up, YouTube? So before we start with this video on Get Up, they're going to be talking about which quarterback has the best chance of making it back to the Super Bowl. Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Ben Rossenberger, or Drew Brees. So let's see what they have to say about that. This question is getting a lot of attention on Twitter today. Got a lot of votes. The poll question at ESPN Greedy on Twitter. Which of these aging legends, all of whom are Super Bowl champions, do you believe has the best chance to win one more in his career? Is it Brady, now in Tampa? Is it Brees? Uh, at the age of 41, is it Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay with the clock ticking? Is it Ben coming back in Pittsburgh? So Marcus, I'll yeah. So where's Russell Wilson? I mean, you got to be kidding me. No Russell Wilson. Come to you for your vote on that, and you can take it wherever you would like. Take the Rodgers piece of it, but which one of those four? If I told you only one of them is going to win one more ring, which four? You, which one of the four do you have? I'll take Tom Brady, and I agree. A part of it is just yeah. creature of the moment, knowing what I've seen in so long, and then the talent surrounded him and how much he makes the guys around him better. He was a 12-win quarterback last year, and we sat on this show every day and said, who in the hell is playing for the New England Patriots <laughs> offensively? <laughs> now you cover that with Mike Evans and Godwin and, 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 and O.J. Howard and obviously Grunk, and this defense was playing great. And we all lamented, too, that if Jameis Winston hadn't thrown 30 picks, not all his fault, by the way, because people want to make sure you say that, um, this team would have possibly won 10 games. They won seven with their quarterback throwing 30. So I would say Tom Brady. That's an interesting. So I definitely agree with Mr. Marcus Spears there. I have to go with Tom Brady too. So Tom Brady didn't have a bad year last year, maybe compared to what he's normally done, but he didn't have a bad year last year. So they went, the Patriots went 12 and four. They made the wild card. Um, for the longest time, I think they had the longest winning streak or second longest winning streak last year. So Tom Brady had a good year last year compared to what everybody else does, but maybe not compared to what he's done in the past. But that's no reason to let a Tom Brady get away from you. So let's take a quick look at my top four quarterbacks. So I go number one, Tom Brady, number two, Aaron Rodgers, number three, Drew Brees, and number four, Ben Rossenberger. Normally, I would have Ben Rossenberger ahead of Drew Brees, but Drew Brees has a stacked team. He Now he, now he has uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, he has Michael Thomas, Kamara. So he has a pretty stacked team that's way better than what Ben Rossenberger is doing. But that's the only reason, reason why I would have Drew Brees at three and Ben Rossenberger at four. So let's continue. Pick Ryan Clark, who's your pick? Aaron Rodgers. But it's not going to be with the Green Bay Packers. It's going to be with a different team because, you know, he's still right there wow. in the age where guys are continuing to play well. He's going to leave Green Bay. He's going to get somewhere where they're going to love on him in the way that he's supposed to be and surround him with the right type of people. We know he makes great decisions, that he would throw the ball away before he throws interceptions, and he still has talent. If Tom Brady can compete at this level, at this age, because he's done the work, I believe that Aaron Rodgers can as well. And the reason I pick him is because he probably has longer than the other dudes. If Tom Brady and Drew Brees don't do it in this year no. or for Tom Brady next year, then they ain't got no more chances. Aaron Rodgers is going to be around for a while. He'll be coveted for a while. And I believe he gets another opportunity to hoist the Lombardi Trophy. I like that one. How about you? So I think Aaron Rodgers has a chance, too, uh, at the second spot for my quarterbacks. Um, but I don't know why there's this narrative that keeps going around about Aaron Rodgers. You know, he's lost it. He can't play anymore. He's going to be traded. Things just aren't working out in Green Bay. Maybe three years ago you say that. But last year, they made the playoffs. They had one of the best records in the NFC. I don't understand what this whole talk about, you know, Aaron Rodgers has fallen off. He had a great year last year. and He was knocking on a Super Bowl last year until the 49ers weren't having it. So I don't know why people are talking about like Aaron Rodgers fell off. Now, maybe two years ago, you can say not last year, but the year before that and the year before that, you can say, you know, maybe he's falling off because they didn't even make the playoffs. But nah, he's definitely rejuvenated his career. And last year he proved it. I mean, they they put in work and Rodgers put in work last year. So he's, he's still very much a threat. So let's continue. You, Darlington, where'd you get your vote? I, I I love this question, by the way. It, it's, it kind of takes you in a lot of different ways. It should be Drew Brees. It should be Aaron Rodgers. But honestly, like, it, I got to go. You can't bet against Tom Brady anymore. Down 28-3 to three in the Super Bowl, he wins. Man, y'all get on my nerves. He's getting just destroyed by everybody. And then he goes in and puts in a, a, a shot from 170 yards out. Like, the guy just defies everything that's against him. I can't bet against him. It's got to be Tom Brady. I yeah, so it does make sense to pick Tom Brady. Um, you know, I don't know what Ryan Clark's problem is, but 
I, he hasn't learned, obviously, not to bet, bet against a Tom Brady. I mean, like I said, last year, it's not like he had a bad year. Two years ago, he's the Super, Super Bowl champion. Last year, like I said, he went 12-4, and four, had one of the longest winning streaks in the league. He still made the playoffs, and he had nothing there with him. I mean, come on, man. you got to give it up to Tom Brady. You have to. So let's continue. Love the fact that you brought golf into RC, this conversation. Go ahead, Marcus. <laughs> RC, we don't care about your nerves. We talk about Tom Brady right now. Bro, let me and Jeff talk about oh, Tom, Tom Brady, Brady and the dude that we just saw win six we Super Bowls. Yeah. RC, let me throw one thing at you. The guy getting absolutely no This dude also no ripped votes. his pants in the go in the golf tournament. The, the, the guy he did split his pants. Ripped his pants. The guy who was. Getting so what was that supposed to mean? Does that mean he's not a good quarterback anymore? Does that mean he can't get the job done anymore? Does it affect the way he throws the ball and how hard and how accurate he throws the ball because he split his pants? Who cares about that? That's nothing. Getting no votes practically on my poll is your guy. Russell Wilson. And that's Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger, who is coming back to a team that last year had arguably the worst quarterback situation of any team in the league, all the other yes. things that happened to them. And if, if there had been seven teams making the playoffs last year, they would have made it in Pittsburgh. Now you add... They definitely would have made it because they went 8-8 eight and eight with absolutely nothing but a bunch of second or third stringers. They broke 500. So, I don't know. With Ben Roethlisberger, they can only do better. Ben Roethlisberger, if he's healthy, why not Big Ben? Because he's in a bad episode of Space Jam. They got monsters over there in the AFC. <laughs> they got a monster <laughs> named Patrick Mahomes. They got another monster <laughs> named Lamar Jackson. And I don't care if you bring on Bugs Bunny, <laughs> Daffy Duck. I don't care which one you bring in there. Sometimes oh, the monster is going to win. And so you can get the Space Jam 11s on, but that don't mean that you're going to get to the Super Bowl. And I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be really good. They had you're me playing quarterback, and Marcus Spears was my backup last year. But it does not. 